Start your habit of continuous learning today. Visit nomadphp.com. Welcome to Nomad PHP Lightning Talks. I'm Joe Ferguson. Nomad PHP Lightning Talks are 10-minute talks that give a high-level overview or an in-depth look at a small portion of a PHP-related topic. Lightning Talks are a great way for new speakers to build their speaking resume and for long-time speakers to test drive new talk ideas. If you'd like to give a 10-minute Lightning Talk, please email me, joe at nomadphp.com. Right now we have Gary Hawken, and he's going to talk about my favorite PHP storm secrets. Please make sure you visit Joined In after the talk and leave Gary some feedback. Thank you very much, Joe. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, hopefully everybody can see what's going on. Um, if not, we have another whole raft of problems, but hey, it's all good. So, my name is Gary Hawken. I'm a developer advocate for JetBrains, and I work on PHP Storm, which is why I really wanted to share some of my favorite secrets. Um, I've been here about a year, and there's a few things that I kind of stumbled into while working that people who use PHP Storm probably would love to know. So, let's get started without any further ado, because I've been told I only have 10 minutes, and I may not want to stop after 10 minutes, so let's go. So. First thing I want to talk about are um, inspections and intentions. So these are kind of the cornerstone of how PHP Storm works. These are the internal um, way that we refer to, to uh, how PHP Storm like, helps you out. So the first thing is an inspection. An inspection tells us when there's something wrong or gives us some hint or advice on what's wrong with the code. Um, kind of a bit like static analysis, but not really. In this instance, you can see we've got a warning in this file. It's kind of obvious to the to the eye already that we have a problem here. Um, so you can see that if you look at the, the warning in the gut here, so this, um, <clears throat> excuse me, this amber kind of color here tells us that that there's a warning and then in the gutter we can see exactly which line that warning's on. So you can see the required parameter logger is missing, which is kind of obvious now that we look at the code, but you know, we, we can easily um, miss these and mistake these problems quite quickly. So having this heads up before we even run the code is pretty cool. So we can we can fix that quite easily by just adding a logger here, and we'll give it a new default if I can spell, um, and then you can see straight away that we now have a nice green tick here to say there's no problems with this file. So these are our inspections, and this is the term we use internally. If you've ever looked at our blog or or followed along in any of our videos, you'll see that we use this term quite a lot. The inspections are really cool, and we'll come back to them in just a second. And the other thing that we have are intentions. Intentions are little tools to help you to do your job um, a little bit easier. So to help you to actually um, get some code done, uh, development done really quickly. Typically, these intentions can be triggered in two ways. They can either um, be triggered using Alt and Enter on Mac, which will give you context-sensitive intentions that you can run at this place. So in this instance, I've got a logger passed into the constructor, but I'm not doing anything with it. And typically, what we do with that logger instance is to throw it into a property for use later on in the class. So we can just pull up the intentions and say initialize fields. And then we can say, yeah, we want to use the logger. And you can see the PHP Storm has sorted that out for us. It's created the property, and it's set the logger into that property, which is kind of nice. We've got a few more intentions here. We can import the class if we don't want the fully qualified namespace. That's kind of nice, too. And the other thing we can do is to generate PHP documentation, PHP doc uh, annotations for the class. Again, that's kind of nice. And the other way you can trigger intentions is by using command N. And this gives you the generate um, screen, which allows you to kind of generate anything you, you know, any kind of common code that you may want to see if you have to type that stuff out. So typically you may do a getter and setter for logger, and that will just generate those that code for you. So there are our intentions. Um, while we are actually talking about uh, intentions and inspections, you can actually run these inspections across your entire code base, which is really cool as well. So we can go to tools, uh, sorry, we can go to code, and then we can select run inspection by name. Now, yeah, finding the name of the inspection you want can, can, can be kind of challenging, but you can find a list of inspections and I'll show you where later on. Um, but in this instance, I wanna run the PHP 7 compatibility inspection across my code base. This is super handy if you're trying to upgrade to PHP 7 and you should be. And um, obviously trying to find PHP compatibility problems across your entire code base is really useful. So if we run that, I'm just going to run it against this tiny project that I've got for demo. You can see that I've deliberately created a class which has um, errors here. So we've got a class called int and string and bool, which are compatibility problems in PHP 7. I deliberately added them 
to, to demo this, um, you know, run the inspections across the whole code base. You can see how useful this could be with your own applications. Next, um, I just want to quickly, you know, just prove that this can you can run any inspection you want. So, for example, uh, let's just try the typo. So, you know, PHP Storm, lots of people turn this off because it becomes incredibly annoying, but it is still kind of handy to be able to run this across your code base. So, let's run this across our whole project. And you can see that there's a few typos, uh, PHP Storm thinks, yeah. It doesn't know my own surname from the markdown file I used for my own intro, but that's cool. You know, you can run these inspections across your whole code base. That's the thing to take home here. So next up um, is something that I kind of found myself using more and more. I did know about these before working at PHP Storm and they're live templates. Basically, this is a really quick way to be able to in, insert snippets into your file. So instead of having to type public function, I can type pub f and tab, and it gives me the public function live template, and then I can just do like, well, it's not going to give me code completion for construct, because I already have one, but underscore, underscore, you know, whatever, uh, get, for example, that terrible magic method. Um, but this is really cool, because we have a whole bunch of these live temp templates inside, um, inside a PHP Storm ready to go. So we can have, for example, private function, Pryf or protected function proif, which gives us these snippets that we can use to um, to immediately pull things up, uh, pull code, uh, generate code right there without having to actually you know uh, copy and paste stuff, which is kind of useful. There is a list of how um, what live templates we have available. I'm going to use another little snippet called um, which is command uh, shift and a, which is a find action, which is a really nice way of finding. Um, any actions and options. So if you know that there's some setting in the preferences pane, this is a really cool way of finding it. So if I just type live templates, if I can spell, and then select that, you can see that we've got a list of live templates and how to invoke them. So we've got for each, for each with a key value, for statement with defaults. That's a really handy one actually. And I didn't even know that existed. So let's give it a try. So we can do for I, and then I've got my uh, iterate over something loop, which is always a pain to remember how to type. So that's really cool. So the other thing, there's, there's also a few other bits and bobs that I really like. And one of those, which is really little known, because it, it just sits hidden in this tool menu, is test RESTful web service. All of the IntelliJ IDs have a REST a RESTful um, or a, a HTTP client built into them for testing APIs. So in this instance, you can see I want to create a, H, uh, a HTTP request with a GET method. I'm going to hit the joined in API, which is the de facto API everybody uses when they want to demo um, APIs. And you can see I can set my headers here. I can set my request parameters. I can send cookies. Um, I can even use this little tool down here to um, quickly generate authorization headers. And then if I, I run that, you can see that I get the JSON sent back to me. This little button just formats it nicely. And you can see here's the data live from the um, from the joined in API, the hot events. This is really, really cool if you're writing your own API endpoints, because who wants to be using curl or you know coming out of your IDE to test to, to run your code and see what's happening? So this is really useful. I'm running out of time really quickly, but we'll still try and fit some more things in. So my another thing I really find useful is is down in the right hand corner here, this little guy, um, Hector the Inspector. Um, yeah, I'm not responsible for naming him. This is something you can use to really quickly turn turn up and down the level of inspections you're getting on your code base. You're running on battery, you're on a flight, you're struggling, turn down the HTML inspections if you're working on PHP code. Why bother? You know, you want to save a little bit more battery, just have syntax highlighting and not the deep inspections. You can also turn on and off power save mode, which puts it down into, you know, eat the last 10% of your battery out. That turns off a lot of inspections and pretty much turns the ID, ID into more of a dumb um, sort of text editor where you have to physically invoke things like code completion. But it's still usable to get you that last sort of 20 minutes of battery. There's also another really nice thing that I've been starting to use lately. I've been working quite a lot on um, some Zen framework components on open source projects, and it has a uh, strict requirement for PHP, um, PHP CS, the PHP code sniffer tool. And what I didn't realize until I was working with that on a daily basis is that I was running that tool a lot. Now, it's actually possible to add your own external tools to PHP Storm so you can invoke them via by keyboard shortcuts. Um, this is actually really easy to do. Again, I'm going to use Shift Alt and uh, sorry, Command 
shift and a to pull up my end direction or option name because i never really go into the preferences pane i always search for what i want to get in there um, and if we uh, type in external tools here you'll see there's a preference pane for external tools and here is where you can define your own external tools so you can run your own external tools from within the ID and see the results and this is really nice so for me I like to use PHP CS this is this is actually set up globally for me so I can do this in any project and um, so I've just said I want to use PHP code sniffer and I want to open the console uh, window so I can see exactly what's going on when we run it this is the program it's just PHP CS installed globally into my composer and we just use this dollar project file to say the working directory should be the root of the pro project that's all there is to it so if I okay that and you can see I've done the same thing for PHP code beautifier as well so I can fix the problems I find you can see that I can now use the the um, key map excuse me to there you go key map and if I type in here external tools I can actually assign a keyboard shortcut to these external tools that I've applied this is really nice so I can run PHP CS immediately by pressing in my instance uh, shift alt and P this runs PHP CS and you can see there's a ton of problems here and if I flick to another project this is an instance of Zen service manager and um, let's just make some white space um, problems and then run PHP CS and you will see that it's run it and it's found problems that can be fixed automatically by PHP CBF so I can run that because I've also got that set up as an external tool and you can see here that the problems I just added have gone away okay this isn't actually a problem but the stuff I did down here has actually gone away and now it passes the PHP CS so that's a really really useful thing I'm going to show you one more thing really quickly I know Joe's probably uh John Cal probably tearing their hair out but I'm gonna anyway unless they pull the plug on me so there's one more thing that I really like um, and that's the newly added PHP 7 support so if we open PHP this this um, code here and I'm using uh, command and one to show and hide the actual file browser because I don't like that up so you can see that this is PHP 7 code and this has a um, string as a type int and a boolean as a return and it's not actually doing anything because I'm not in PHP 7 language level I can use alt and enter again to get that um, intention to quickly do that so that's pretty cool so now what we want to do is uh, we want to declare strict types equals one so we've got strict type hinted on and now you can see immediately that we get these errors right within PHP storm so we don't have to run our code to find out that there are type problems here so preg match returns an integer and we're actually returning a boolean here and immediately you know this is the kind of thing that you may have bugs in your real code base because if you were just doing this is this a true three or a falsey then this may pass but you have got a bug that could that could beat you somewhere so if we just say if that's equal to naught that fixes that bug and you can see that immediately we're passing in an int here and we we should be passing in a string so again we can immediately see using the using the um the inspections that there is problems here we've got another problem here class reference not case after that's fine so then we can just fix this by passing in a valid string and now we don't have any problems anymore so this is a really nice way this is really powerful the the inspections in PHP storm and the PHP 7 type hints and um, really do mean that you can see problems before you've even run your code um, I really do like using this I'm sounding like a salesman and that's not my intention at all right? but I really do use this on a daily basis and it catches tons of problems for me if you're not using PHP 7 um, it, it is difficult it does some sort of work with these um, uh, annotation with the doc blocks but it's not so good so that pretty much covers it for me um, thank you very much to Carl and to Joe and I hope you enjoy the main session and uh, yeah I'll hand back to Joe Right, thanks for joining us for another Nomad PHP Lightning Talk. If you'd like to give a Lightning Talk, please email me, joe at nomadphp.com. Make sure you visit JoinedIn and leave Gary some feedback.